Hello everyone. I am back to you with a chapter on roots in alphabetical order. So, let us learn more about this builder block. Analysis of words tells us that words have different builder blocks. Right? Once we learn to recognize them, we find that many of the words are actually made up of related parts. Let's see an example. Salary. Right? Here, this is derived from root, Latin root cell. Now, salary, salaries and salaried. All three words have this common root cell and it, it means salt. We can learn some more words with it, with the same root cell, that is salad and saline. So one thing becomes clear that it has something to do with salt and the meaning of the words becomes much clearer. In English, we have hundreds of words made up of two or more parts taken from Latin or Greek, basically. Now these parts are limited in number and easy to learn. So instead of cramming each word separately, we can learn these parts. Root is that part of the word which is very very important and gives us the most important essential meaning. It is that meaning which never changes. Thus root is the base of the word, foundation of the word. Many roots vary slightly in spelling as viv and vit. These two roots have a minor difference and have almost similar meaning life or to live. Let's see how they work. Revive. Here this has two blocks re and viv. Now re we have already learned means again it's a prefix and viv means live. So, revive means to bring back to life. Vital. It again has two blocks, wit and ul. Now, ul is a suffix which means related to. Now, vital means that which is important. Vitamin. It again has two blocks, wit and amin. Now, this is a suffix which means organic chemical compound which is important for body. So vitamin is that uh, important substance found in most of the food stuffs that is not, uh, very important for normal life functions. Next word we come to is vivacious. It means again now one now uh, now when we break it it has you know viv, ek and us. So, one thing becomes very clear by learning meaning of viv and wit that it has to do with life. So, vivacious means full of life, lively or active. Vivid, vivid means having a certain quality, lifelike, lively, not dull and viviparous. You can check out the meaning yourself here. Let us... Uh, again begin learning of the words in alphabetical order with the help of these roots EQ and ecker. These both means sharp. These are Latin roots means sharp. Now the very first word we are learning here is acrid which has two blocks ecker and id. Right. Now ecker as we know is sharp. Now it is a suffix which means having the quality. So acrid means having a sharp quality in taste or smell. This we can use in a way that acrid smoke hurts our eyes. A word based on it is acridity. Condition of being acrid, sharp. Acridity has two, uh, three blocks. Acrid is very clear to you now. Itty is a suffix again, 
which means condition or state. Now next word we come to learn with it is acrimony. It has two blocks again acre and money. Now money is a suffix meaning quality of being. So acrimony means sharpness in speech or tongue. Acrimonious means having the quality of sharpness in a speech or tongue. Uh, the, the person made acrimonious remark against the neighbor. Equity. Acuity has again two blocks. Acu and it. Acu is sharp and it as just now we discussed it means um, conditional state. So acuity means sharpness of mind. Acumen also means intelligence and acute is a simple word to learn which means severe. Next root we are learning is egg or act. Right. It means to do or drive. Now the very first word we are coming to here is agenda means a list of things to do agent and agency need not much explanation to the students very simple words agile has two blocks one is egg and another is aisle now aisle is a suffix meaning pertaining to so agile means move quickly or nimble agility is next word with it next we come to some more words with the same root active active has two blocks act and ive if now if is a suffix means inclined to uh, so active is working busy lively now activity activate and deactivate are the words that we can learn with it activate means to make active and deactivate we add d here uh, which means to make inactive next very simple word is actor which needs no explanation next is actual actually and actuality next word we come to is enact now here we have two blocks n as a prefix which means to make and act means to do so to make to do means enactment of law to make a law enactment means making of law next word is inactive which means not active in is a prefix which always means not it has two meanings one is in uh, and another is not but mostly here it means in now transact has two blocks trans trans means across and transaction uh, act means to do so transact means to do business transaction business interact has two blocks again inter and act inter means between now interact means to communicate interaction and interactive two more words we can learn with it react reactive and reaction that is all for the chapter. Bye-bye.